20 bin altın var, 20 bin. Here at the Sofa Hotel in Istanbul, a contemporary art sale is underway. The highlight of the show is this piece by Nejed Meli Devrim, bought for a cool 650,000 euros by a Turkish collector. Over the last 10 years, Turkey's art scene has blossomed and there's plenty of cash to be splashed. There is a very important clientele of small and medium-sized collectors who have the means to buy. So for many pieces in general, there's nothing for less than 30 to 40,000 euros by important artists. Over the past three years, more than 50 galleries have opened in Istanbul. Financed by patrons of the arts and heads of leading businesses, the artworks are also auctioned abroad. Today it's mainly banks that finance contemporary art, and bosses have their own collections. One such example is Istanbul Modern, the only contemporary art museum in Turkey's largest city. Conceived in 2004 by an industrial group, it paved the way for modern art in Turkey. In the 2000s, Istanbul was discovered by the global art world as if, as if it was a new continent. And from its nightlife from, to its street life, from its museums to its alternative artists' collectors, culture and tourism mingle in Istanbul now. And it's artists like Cesar Paker who are making the most of Istanbul's modern art renaissance. Having lived for many years in Paris, Cesar now spends much of her time on the banks of the Bosphorus, taking inspiration from the city where East meets West. Over the past 10 years, I've thought all the time about New York because I lived there in the 80s and 90s and it made me think a lot of Istanbul where there's the same rising energy. It's this energy that's breathing life into a new artistic world, placing Istanbul firmly on the map as one of the front runners of modern art.